I've already installed Lofelt Studio, so I'm going to bring it up. The Studio Desktop app right here. This is what it looks like. And uh, yeah, I could start uh, a recent project if I had one, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to start uh, with uh, starting a new project. And we do that by loading in an audio file. Now, it brings up this screen, and the very first step is for us to analyze this audio file, and we get um, a, a, a haptic generated for us. So I'm going to click Analyze, and it will start doing that. Now, even if your intention is just to create a haptic, like if you're making a game where you don't expect to have any sounds, but you want haptics included, it's still a lot faster to just take a sound that represents the feeling that you want, drop it into here, and get this initial haptic created, and then fine tune it as you wish, rather than trying to create one uh, from scratch. I mean, you can't even do that. So always start from audio. The results are going to be much better, and you'll get the results a lot quicker. Speaking of results, we've got some information now being shown on the screen here. Uh, up at the top, we've got an overview of the whole length of the audio file from beginning to end. And then down in the bottom larger area here, we have a detail of that view. So I can uh, scroll around and zoom in uh, pretty closely if I need to create any really fine edits. 